Hi, welcome to my channel. My name's Louise. Today we're going to make this into this. So let's get started. First, open the jacket up. We're going to take the lining out and keep the line, lining for later. If you're lucky, your pockets are in the lining like this one. If you're not so lucky, I'll show you later how to do what to do. But follow the seam all the way round the jacket. I use a rotary cutter. I find it a lot quicker and easier, but you can use an unpick if you wish. You'll find where the shoulder is and where the arms are, it's tacked on. The best I find to unpicking here is first unpick the lining out of the sleeve before going outside and trying to unpick the sleeve. Keep going, you're going to get there. Don't unpick the sleeve at the bottom where the cuff is, just around the shoulders. That's all you need to do is unpick there. Unpick the lining around the shoulders of the sleeve. Do not unpick by the cuff because that's going to be another bag. So as you can see, it's come out as one full arm with the lining. Now that we can make another bag, as you can see there, but another project, another video. So unpick both arms, take the lining out, unpick the center seam. You notice I tear, that's just through experience. When you come up to the top, you've got the center cup. Cut it down the center, folding it in half so I know I've got the center. So just cut it with the scissors. Put the other half aside and unpick the side seam. Now here I'm just starting to unpick the side seam. I'm unpicking the wrong side seam. Don't unpick the side seam that's going down to the pocket. Unpick the side seam. There might be a flap. If you're lucky, there's a flap. Unpick that seam. Do not unpick the seam that goes down to the pocket because it messes it up. You'll need that later. Remove the shoulder pads, but leave the other padding alone. That you're going to need in the bag so it's not so thin. So just the shoulder pads. Now do both sides of the coat. Once you've unpicked both sides, Lay them flat on the table, Poc the one with the pocket on top and the one with the po without the pocket on the bottom. Get an idea of roughly how your bag is going to go. Try and make it as deep as you possibly can because you do lose about an inch to two inches at the bottom. Get a ruler, lay it down. If you've got chalk, it's better to mark it, but unfortunately I couldn't find my chalk at the time. You'll go dead straight up, have a little bit of an angle going a little bit wider up at the top, around about an inch wider than the bottom. It just means that it goes more in a fluke, which is easier to find things when it's in the bag. So here I'm using fade away. It works just as good. Once you've got it to where you want, have your dog inspect it. She'll tell you if it's right or wrong. Use a pair of scissors. Make sure that you've pinned it in place. Now where you've put the line, maybe go a little bit on the outside of the line. Remember to remove the button. As you can see, I'm cutting it on along. Cut it on both sides. Remember, you're going to use the bottom part for the for the other side, so just don't make it too wide. The measurements I used is 15 inches at the bottom and 16 inches on the top, but I put an extra half inch for the seams. So cut it at 15 and a half at the bottom and 16 and a half at the top. But remember, this coat bag is your own design. So it's up to you how narrow or how wide you want to make it. But if you make it too wide, you won't have any fabric for the back. Here I'm straightening it up. But if you want, you can knead this until you finish sewing. So that you know that you've got everything right.
Now, pin the collar across if you haven't already done. If you notice, I've lifted the collar up. And making sure that it's lying nice and flat because you're going to sew a line roughly where you've pinned it right across before sewing the collar down just check that there is enough fabric on the back the fabric you're going to use what I used was where the pocket was so you got that spare inside pocket make sure that the front isn't too long or too short but you can cut it afterwards now sew down the collar removing the pins as you're going if you notice the collar is lifted up and I'm sewing underneath the collar make sure there is no fabric folded underneath or wadding folded underneath and sew a straight line make sure when you finished that when you fold it over you sewn it roughly where the fold is you'll have all this excess underneath you'll be cutting that afterwards now to put the zip in we're going to put it on the top but it's going to inset a little bit into the bag so note when the bag is closed you can't see it I've used an open end zip here reason is it was the only zip I could find around at the moment going to the shops a bit difficult and I didn't have the patience to wait for one to come so I had an open end zip open up the collar and just a single piece of fabric that you've got there remember to remove any excess cotton you don't want to be sewing that in it's harder to remove after you've sewn it then what you do is straighten that bit of the collar the line as you can see here you'll put your zip on And this is where you're going to roughly put your zip in so where it is folded don't cut the outside fabric just the inside and just make sure it's nice and straight now put yourself a zip foot on or a very narrow thin foot zip always remember to sew the zip on top of the fabric not underneath if you sew it underneath you'll find that the fabric will gather or the zip will gather so rather put the zip on top of the fabric with your foot on top of the zip wherever you can because otherwise the teeth make the zip go funny and doesn't lie flat and straight another tip do not sew too close to the teeth if you sew too close to the teeth the slider won't slide as easily so with a, especially with a bag, half and half is the best policy. You could also sew a top stitch on the zip to keep it nice and flat. But remember, you've got the lining that you're still sewing, so you can sew that afterwards with the lining tucked so, so it doesn't catch on the teeth. I'm going to use the coat lining. One, the pockets are all done for you, which is great. And the other thing, it saves money on buying the lining. So, cut the shoulder that meets the back. I've used a pair of scissors because I'm not really going to be using that up at the top. What we're going to do then is level across where the pocket is. But before I do that, I need to unpick the seam. Now, where the seam was, where the fold was, not the seam right next to the pocket the next seam the seam that had the slit in unpick that all the way up to the top unpick another panel from the back not the front from the back and what you're going to do is you're going to sew that along the side so that the pockets will be in the center of the bag not on the side so level it up make sure it's nice straight line and you will be joining it sorry the camera lost energy <laughs> right so now what we do is we are now sewing on the other side of the pocket where there isn't lining and we're sewing it all the way down try and avoid sewing the pocket but if you can't avoid it 
as long as you can't see it on the other side sew it all the way down you can label it up afterwards remember lining can be a bit flimsy and move around so do it nice and steady and slowly you're not r running a marathon sorry not running a splint sprint press it and put it aside do the other one exactly the same as I'm showing you here. So you level it up at the top. Now with this one, I quite like the fact that little white pocket at the bottom, but it's too far down. So what I've done is I folded it over and I sewed it up. So if you watch carefully, I'll show you. But at the moment, I'm labeling the other side of the lining. Remember, this is the lining from the back. I put it there and I'll sew it down. But that little white pocket's too low down. If you notice, I'm measuring it. So I'm going to fold it over like that and sew it. Now if you notice the little white pocket has come up. You're not going to notice that line once it's in the lining. It's inside. Now do exactly the same as what you did with the other side and sew it down. Remember not to sew onto the pockets if you can avoid it. Level the bottom removing all the excess fabric check that the lining isn't too short but just make sure you've got some nice straight lines place your other fabric on top just to double check that you've got enough space so yes definitely is big enough so what you're going to do is sew the lining to the zip so fold it in half, fold the zip in half, the one with the zip outside, pin the center on. I'm going to put it at this other part into part two. The video is getting too long. So remember to like and subscribe if you want to watch the next part. Take care, stay safe. Bye.